There are many different kinds of robots in the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Seven of them are of the Atlas type. Atlas Unplugged is the upgrade to Atlas to allow it to run entirely on batteries and to have it use a wireless communication path and for it to not require a safety tether to hold itself up. Basically, we have to cut the cord. We have to no longer rely on a safety line on the top. You can see that there's one there right now, and you're going to continue to use them during your testing. But of course, uh, when we have the contest itself and you're getting ready for the contest, that safety line is not going to be there anymore. The new Atlas is 75% new. Only 25% of the parts that are in there are from the old Atlas. The rest of them are really used for the onboard energy storage, better energy efficiency, much more dexterity, and the robot is much quieter than it was before. It also is a little bit stronger so that it can better get off the ground in case it falls. We've tried to make a number of innovations to the new robot. Uh, the primary one is the, uh, the new battery pack. So in the back of the robot here, you'll see a large box which represents all the energy that the teams will have to work with during the entire uh, DRC finals. That battery then goes through this brand new distribution panel uh, that uh, provides all the power on the robot. In the heart of the robot is a brand new pump. This is a very quiet pump and we're, we're really excited about this pump because it makes the robot a lot quieter. The teams can actually uh, operate this robot without the, uh, the need for any hearing protection. It's a variable uh, pressure pump, so that'll allow the teams to change and decide what pressure they will use on the robot during any of the tasks of the competition. And that will allow them to actually save battery power by using less pressure on the robot. Up here we will have a set of computers and the teams will use those to process images out of the sensor head and then command the robot to do its tasks. The arms have been repositioned on this robot. Basically the shoulders have been flipped over. You see they are now cut, the arms come out from much lower in the robot and this allows the, the users to have more workspace in front of the robot so it can see what its hands are doing. These are the older forearms, but we will have a new set of electric forearms which have a wrist degree of freedom which will allow them to turn doorknobs without having to torque the whole arm. Three quarters of this robot has changed basically from the knees all the way up, so the teams are going to have quite a job over the next three months to get reacquainted with the new Atlas Unplugged. The finals are going to be very hard. They're going to be much harder than the trials were. I know none of you like that idea. Uh, but it's what we have to do in order to really bring these systems to the right level of development. We want these tests to be much more authentic, much more like real disasters. We're going to make the communication much more realistic, much more austere and difficult with long blackouts of up to a minute. The robots are going to have to do all of these tasks in sequence without any human help. There won't be any possibility for a person to intervene. And so the robots will have to perform much, much better than before. They'll have less time to do it, only an hour for the entire mission and um, may the best robot win.